people don't realize that there's more injuries in housekeeping than there are in mining or construction. This report was looking at the accommodations industry in general, but really focusing in on the hotel industry and trying to understand what happened both during the recession and then after the recession. It's really important that we crucially examine these hidden costs uh, to the taxpayers and to the workers to make sure that when events like the All-Star Game come to town, uh, that it's not costing workers and taxpayers. With this report, it shines a light fairly on how workers are not always sharing in the boom of our recovering economy. Hotel sales and profits are up significantly, but positions and employment are down double digits. You see people starting union jobs. You know, they're working just as hard as they worked in a non-union, but they have a little more security, a little more representation. Hotel workers are really there at the bottom. Um, and what this means with these low wages is that they have to rely on public benefits. Uh, many of the workers rely on uh, food stamps or known as SNAP today. If they have families, the Minnesota School Lunch Program for their children. We're calling on hotels to reduce excessive workloads, especially for housekeepers. We're calling on hotels to pay sufficient wages to provide a decent living in the Twin Cities. I mean, we need people that make beds. We need people that wash dishes. We'll always need that. Not every job is a college job. I think if you can make these jobs that we need doing, decent livable wage jobs, everyone's the better for it.